And so I simply had to make not a splash, but the best decision for Southern University. And I looked around and we interviewed a lot of people. And I said, well, you know, we done had NFL coaches to come here before. <laughs> you know, and so that won't be something out the norm if we went that direction. Uh, we done had coaches from small schools and larger schools. So it's about getting what's best at this particular time for this university. And when I look across and, and I close my eyes, uh, sitting down by myself to help make this decision and talk it over with the staff, I, I, can, hear the, I can hear the band playing. I can hear the fans and pom-poms going. Who that talking about beating those Jaguars? I can hear it going, and, I, and, and, it, and it just keep coming back to me is those glory days when I was young running around here. You know, what do it take? It takes somebody being in love with the institution. It takes a person to, to birth fresh air for this football program. It takes connecting the dots, bringing these football and lungs and all these people back because it's going to take us as a family to get this thing done the way we want to get it done. That's been a consistent winner every year. And as we interview people, as we start talking to people, uh, uh, you look over a resume and we want to get someone with coaching experience uh, that's been in the trenches. Uh, I think it's important that somebody that's proven themselves to be a recruiter. Somebody that done, done called X and O's and been a, been a CEO of a program that know how it's supposed to happen. Somebody that have birthed some pros from the college levels. All that's important. But most important thing is, is what's important for Southern at this time? And it kept coming back to me when I sat down this spring while we're going through interim interviewing people. Uh, uh, people that you may think have higher accol accolades. But the humbleness and, and the consistent confidence of this person that I kept talking to them and communicating with them is looking at this place as the place where they want to be. And if it wasn't any money tied to this position, they still would want to be at Southern University. And, and that means a lot because you're going to give your heart and soul to this institution when you feel the way that this is your champion. And every time he kept saying, we can do some great things there. And we can do it, and we can do it quickly. And as I took inventory uh, uh, over this team and been able to do exit interviews and, and, uh, and, and speak with that person, and that person, Coach Dooley, had the tools that I think that can deliver us where we want to be in the next couple of years. And as I continue to speak and, and, and listen to mentors and folks, I erased Coach Pete Richardson out the picture <laughs> because I expect him so much after we talked about it the first time he was on our committee. I, I, I respect him so much, I didn't want him to influence my decision because he's one of his own, right? And so at some time, you got to go into your own private space and think about this. And so I knew exactly how he felt about Dooley. I knew exactly what he would say about him and be truthful with me. But I wanted to make sure I erased him and just made the right decision as it relates to not being biased to a man that I respect highly. And as I thought about it, and as I continued to talk to our staff about it, it was no question in my mind with his character and his dignity and the things, one of our own, to come back here that, that Ashley can close his eyes and he'd been in that own stadium and seen that stadium rocking. And he opened up his eyes and make our dream a reality. I couldn't help but to recommend Coach Eric Dooley uh, to this president and to, this, and to our board. And so with that being said, we know that we got uh, some good days ahead of us. And we know that we're going to start working on it today. Uh, but without a shadow of a doubt in my mind, I'd have heard from most of the football alums today, this hiring speech to who we are, this hiring speech to who we're going to be, and this hiring is all about his personality and who he is. He's a champion of a man, and so our expectation is to have a champion of a program. I introduce to y'all next, our 20th, head coach that's going to take us to higher heights and another level, Coach Eric Dooley.
morning. Good morning. Uh, first of all, I'd just like to give honor to God who's given me the opportunity to be here. Uh, I don't take it lightly. Uh, that's who I reverence, and I know that's where my strength comes from. But then also I'd like to thank Dr. Belton for believing in me to give me the opportunity uh, to let, uh, I say coach, because in my mind he's always going to be Coach Banks, uh, giving me another opportunity to come here, a place that I do love, no question about it. Uh, I've been around the conference for a long time, and my daughter attended school right now. So that lets you know, right? I think Coach Richardson let it out the bag on the news the other day that she attends school here. But just, just the, uh, the opportunity that I got in 1997, Coach Richardson didn't know who I was. I was a, just a young man coaching football in high school in New Orleans, Louisiana. And he gave me an opportunity to come here. And I can truly say, ever since that day, I never looked back. And just the, 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 the individuals I have met here it's always been home for me. You know, you go a lot of places, I'm gonna always make where I'm at my home. But when you say the prodigal son finally come home, that's a difference to me. Uh, so I'm excited about being here. I'm not a guy of a, a lot of words. My work is behind us, out on that field. That's where I'm gonna do my talking at. And the one thing I can promise you, you know, a lot of guys come up and say, we're gonna win the championship. That's without a question. I don't have no doubt in my mind because I know the ability of the young men that are here in this state and the surrounding states. We're going to recruit our backyard heavily. But, you know, I, I'm, right now I'm probably lost for words because, I, you know, you dream of things, but you don't dream of this. You know, so that's just to let all the young men that are growing up, regardless of where you come from, dreams do come true. You just got to continue to press. Just got to continue to be obedient and do what does say the Lord. And that's, where I, that's how I travel. But I also like to thank my wife, who's been behind me for all those 20 plus years. Uh, raising my daughters that have to wear the colors wherever I'm at. And regardless, regardless of what it is, uh, you can always look in that closet and see some blue and gold because that's where it was raised at. And you know, it's not too, uh, I have to mention it, that's my, she's my older sister, but to me, my youngest sister, she's here from New Orleans. My nieces and my nephews and brother-in-law, they're just coming down. It's a family affair. But I, I'm, I'm extremely excited. I know you guys probably want me to come up here and give you that powwow speech. Just come to the field. Come to the games. And you're going to get just what you came for. But I'm excited about being uh, the next head coach at Southern University. Uh, my biggest thing, you have any questions, concerns, I'm here. But we're going to get the job done. Answer, we're going to have questions answered in just a moment from the media. Also, we can do private interviews right here as well. He's going to walk on the football field a little later on as well. But first, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to uh, get the closing remarks from one of the best men at Southern University. He's done a great job. Hey, one more thing. Oh, yes, sir. You know, I'll be remiss not to mention all of my former players that are here that I had opportunity. Uh, they're getting older. They're getting much older <laughs> as, I, as I see the young men. But I'm so proud to see those guys here because Although it's been maybe 15, some 20 years ago, we still talk like I'm still coaching those guys. We're still in connection because once I uh, coached them, they were like sons to me. And I made sure of that because we stayed connected. And they drive, regardless of what I came across that field in, coach, you got to come home. And they didn't care who was around. Whether I was walking with that president or that athletic director, coach, when are you coming back to Southern? So uh, I just want to... Uh, Take my hats off to those young men for being around and continue to keep me upbeat. Now, ladies and gentlemen, President Chancellor of Southern University, Dr. Ray Belton. Uh, well, uh, good morning to everyone. I'd like to uh, join my colleagues in, in, in offer greetings on behalf of the faculty, staff, and most importantly, the students of Southern University and then I'm college, and I too uh, would like to say uh, welcome home, uh, Coach Dooley. Uh, you know, uh, I have to uh, uh, acknowledge and, and admit that I have never had the occasion to meet Coach Dooley until uh, uh, most recently. Uh, but I've heard a lot about him from, uh, from afar. You know, everyone spoke about, you know, 
his, his experience and, and his commitment uh, to Southern University. Uh, I have to tell you that uh, I learned firsthand uh, what he could do as a coach uh, during our homecoming uh, ceremony. <laughs> Coach, you could have you could have you could have stopped that game a little early. <laughs> you know, but uh, as has been pointed out, uh, he comes with who, who he comes able uh, and having uh, enjoyed a lot of experience uh, in this area. Uh, but most importantly, I come to know him as being an individual uh, who's committed uh, to the student athletes themselves, uh, whose whose aim has always been to define and, and shape uh, young men. Uh, and, and certainly that is a, a, a value that we hold here uh, at the university. Uh, so I, I too have been uh, afforded the occasion to interact uh, with a lot of alums uh, across the country uh, in keeping with this most critical uh, appointment. Uh, and to their credit, you know, all of them are avid Southern University fans uh, who want the best uh, for uh, this university. And, and I say to them, uh, as an alum of Southern, that I'm a fan too. <laughs> and I want what's the best for, for this university. And so uh, when uh, uh, Coach Banks uh, shared with me uh, his recommendation uh, I embraced it because I genuinely witnessed firsthand the diligence that he has gone through uh, in, in this election. Uh, starting in the spring, uh, having the occasion to uh, engage with a number of, of Africans who uh, expressed the desire uh, to be a part of the Jaguar Nation, and most recently, how he painstakingly you know, went through a process uh, to uh, identify what would be the best fit uh, for Southern University. Uh, I, would, I would argue with him that this morning, we are making a splash. We have the best coach for Southern University. And, and certainly, it's attributable uh, to his uh, leadership. Uh, uh, Roman has done a great job of stabilizing the athletic program, and I'd like to formally acknowledge uh, Roman and ask if you give him a round of applause. And I, I, I also would like to uh, acknowledge uh, our chairman and, and the uh, chair of the athletic committee uh, for their support. Uh, working collected, uh, collaboratively uh, with our board who work unselfishly on behalf of all the campuses uh, within the Southern University system. Uh, we have brought to bear uh, resources to establish a stronger foundation coach uh, for our athletic programs here at, at Southern University. And I, and I, I, I dare say uh, there's no, uh, I have no uh, fear that uh, we are going to attract kids uh, or young men you know, to, to our football program. Uh, but I, I, I would also offer that I think you're going to have the resources to be successful, uh, whether it be a manpower or infrastructure, but most importantly, a fan base, you know, that rallies uh, around what we do here uh, at Southern University. So I am, too, so very pleased to have this opportunity uh, to support this appointment. And we will do so on Friday uh, at our board meeting. So again, thank you all for coming out and joining with us. And I think there may be an opportunity for some questions. Thank you. Thank you. Now, uh, if you have a question for Coach, please raise your hand, identify who you are. And uh, the question Q&A will start right now with Coach Eric Dooley. Well, that, that's a work in progress right now. I think I owe it to the coaches that are here to sit down and talk with them and see they, 
philosophy and see what direction they're going in, and then I'll make decisions from that. But you can best believe when the time presents itself, we'll be fully staffed. No, I did not, but I always followed the program because there still was some young men that was here that I recruited. And that was the reason why I never left because every year I would, would uh, recruit someone and I don't want to leave until they graduate. But if I continue to recruit guys, it's going to be a long time, so it wound up being 14 years, uh, 14 great years. So, uh, well, we had 14 great years, 13 of them with Coach Richardson. So uh, I never dreamed of that, but I, I, I did believe it would be an opportunity at some point. Well, anytime you have an opening, <laughs> you know, that it's an opportunity. That's what you look for, an opportunity. Uh, but I'm going to always stay the course and take care of the business that at hand right then. I believe in uh, an acronym in WIN, and everybody thinks it's about winning. It's what's important now. So what's important now, I'm going to take care of the student athletes where I'm at to give them 100% of me, and if opportunity presents itself for me and my family, I'm going to take that opportunity. Coach, what have you taken from Coach Pete Richardson as far as your coaching philosophies go? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. Uh, he taught me so much. Just, uh, you know, you, you don't, at that time, you're always thinking of where well, I'm going to do my own thing, I'm going to do my own thing. But as you get an opportunity to run a program, and then I see what some of the things he had to go to, through, I reach back and call him to find out what's going on, some of the things that I can uh, you know, respond on it and, and, and do a better situation and be in a better situation. I do understand I don't have all the answers, so I'm going to find out the answer if I don't have that answer. So I, he and I always talk, and a lot of guys around here don't know, before my season I always start, we would have lunch. Uh, some kind of way I find my way to Baton Rouge and we'll have lunch before the season starts, and that's what I need to get me started. Absolutely. Never stop recruiting. Always recruit. No, because my thing is I, I want to leave a place better than what it was when I got there. And I felt that I left it in good hands and this was an opportunity that, uh, that I've been waiting on. And, and, you know, I tell the players all the time, seize that opportunity when it comes. And an opportunity presented itself, and I thought it was a great opportunity for me. Uh, Corey Rollins, WBRZ. Coach, you've been around the SWAC for a long time. What does this team need to do to compete for SWAC championships? Uh, it's no question. There's some pieces of the puzzles that we have to add, but uh, when you look at the foundation of the guys that are here, they have the ingredients to be champions. So now it's just up to me to go out and, uh, like Coach Richardson would always say, and beat the bushes and find some guys that's going to make us a better football team. What do you want to implement this program? Or what is one thing that you want to make sure your teams have in your life? Well, you know, it starts with discipline. When you have discipline, you can do a lot of different things. So it starts with the discipline part of it. And then uh, you, you got to understand student athlete, student is first. So then that, uh, the athletic side of it is a portion that gives you the blessing to be here. So we're going to make sure we take care of the academic side of it and be disciplined. Coach. I think it put me in, uh, in line to come and deal with, I, I know the expectations here at Southern University, so it allowed me to prepare myself. You know, I feel that everything that I go through, the Lord was preparing me for such a time as this. So I think it put me in great shape to come back here to uh, Jaguar Nation and present myself and, and be the best. You know, I also, I, I, I use this phrase a lot, too. Every day of your life, you're on an interview. So I thought that was part of my interview. <laughs> we have time for one more question for the medium. Coach Dillard. Thank you, Coach Dillard. Thank you. It's a hell of an interview, though. <laughs> all right, uh, we're going to go onto the football field with Coach Dooley. You can take all the pictures you want and what have you. And then after that is over, 
uh, television stations. We're going to do individual interviews right here in front of this canopy. So uh, again, want to thank everyone for coming here. I also see some uh, some sponsors for Southern University. Care South Medical and Dental, I see, is here. Coca-Cola is here. And uh, if I missed anybody, I apologize. But thank you for the sponsorship because you do a great job CSR. for Southern University Athletics. <laughs> What's, oh, CS, CSRS. Des Moines Rutland just docked my pay. All right. Also, we have some uh, current football players in the house that are watching it. Athletic trainers are here as well. Give it up for those guys, please. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go on to the football field.